This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we got Q from 112 who was signed to Bad Boy as well reacting to um, Mace's comments on his publishing. And he says that, hey, we were young and we signed a bad deal, but that's how the standard was in the business back then. So you can't be so mad at Diddy for doing that, for you know owning half of the publishing, because he says Diddy owns half of my publishing. Now, is Diddy gonna make a rash, like a emotional decision? He said probably not. He's a shrewd businessman. But what he's preaching at the Grammys about you know the creators and this and respecting that, you know, it's like then it becomes something different because now you're actually promoting everything to be fair and then maybe he should rethink some of those shrewd business decisions and give people the option to get their publishing back somehow uh i i think that diddy if diddy wants to take that you know pop because i see a lot of celebs now going for the creator and being equal and getting the right deal and this and that then if Diddy's going to take that approach and follow that train, he needs to undo some of these shrewd contracts that were standard back in the 90s. I mean, he was a label owner. He's inspirational. But now it's time to do right by the artist. Give him an option at least to buy it back. You know, I think they should at least get the option. Uh, but, you know, Mace is different because Mace also ran off on the plug twice you know he got money from diddy for two albums that he didn't even complete you know so <laughs> there's two ways to look at that um now susan rice warned snoop dogg to back off you won't win this fight it's despicable uh you know what's despicable gail king and the question she asked not respecting vanessa the family and everything asking questions that it's public knowledge that those charges were dropped i think that this uh you know susan rises uh doesn't have all the facts and i, I noticed certain people Ari lennox even backed off on you know she's a singer backed off on her uh critique and i think it's because people don't want to ruin that possible oprah relationship uh Ari Lennox, um, you know, besides, you know, Susan Rice, what she, what she wrote, Warren Snoop, she's in the government, you know, it's a little weird that she reacted to it, but uh, Ari Lennox IG Live days are over. Um, she writes a big thing to from my heart to yours. I'm sorry I was acting like an ass. I'm sorry for being insensitive. I truly love y'all so much. I swear, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've grown too comfortable with viewing my supporters as my besties. Uh, I can vent with no repercussions. I feel the need to protect people. What did she say? I was talking about, but carrying a misconstrued judgment of me. My heart is in the right place. I can only pray that one day you see that. What did she say? I'm sorry for triggering people. I'm sorry for if I caused any trauma. I'm sorry for victim shaming. I swear that was my intent. I repeat, was not my intent. I'm learning how to deal with my feelings, blah, blah, blah. Eh. And then, you know, she uh, apologizes to Gail King and all this other stuff and tries to take everything back. I don't know. To all the people that checked me from a place of love, I love you forever. I, I have no problem with people going at Gail King for what she did. She needs to feel the wrath of making a mistake like that you know we can't all start feeling sorry for all of a sudden you know she needs to feel it man i'm not saying do anything to her i'm saying she just needs to feel the backlash you know that hey you did wrong you know her apology wasn't good enough let's just be honest but um hey i i, I uh i love you guys i appreciate you guys sorry there's not a lot of news uh I'm going to come up with some topics a little bit. I was just getting some stuff done today. I needed one of those days to get some other stuff done. But uh, I'm going to do two more videos for the day uh, after this. I appreciate you guys, and thank you for hanging in there with me. Love you guys, and I hope you're doing well. And keep striving forward. Uh, don't don't have any excuses. There's no excuses. Use that Mamba mentality, that Kobe Bryant mentality. And, you know, if, you got, if you're breathing and you're healthy and you're, you're able to, 
Don't disrespect someone that's not able to and try your best every day. I appreciate you guys.